everybody, Adventure Steve here. I just wanted to make a little video this morning about Unit 82 here inside Southern Colorado. And uh, just to let you guys know a little bit about our unit. Um, so everybody sees our unit on the, uh, the map and says it's pretty big and there's a refuge here so there has to be a lot of animals. Um, so there is a little bit of truth behind that. Yeah, that we do have a lot of animals but we do have a lot of land that you cannot hunt on. Uh, Unit 82 backs up against a national park, which is Great Sand Dunes National Park, and there's no hunting allowed in the Great Sand Dunes National Park. Um, there's also certain areas of the refuge that you can't hunt as well. Um, and then the area out here alone is not that easy to navigate. Uh, so we got a lot of a lot of cactus, the elevation's about 8,500 feet, and we have a lot, a lot of steep terrain as well up against our mountains. Uh, we have some of our tallest peaks here are over 14,000 feet in elevation. So if you're not used to, to elevation gain um, or being up in high elevation, it might take a big toll on you if you're coming from a, a, you know around sea level. Um, and then also, it's a kind of a different style of hunting out here. Uh, there are a lot of pinions and junipers that are pretty dense along the foothills. And then it opens up to wide plains that you're looking at like right now. Uh, and then also the weather can change. Right now we're at the end of February and we got about an inch to two inches on the ground right now. And uh, it was 50 degrees the other day. So weather can change really quickly on a snap. So that's one thing to be prepared for while you're out here hunting. Um, another thing that you have to consider is that a lot of areas out here, you're not allowed to bring a vehicle in. So you have to be either be on foot, um, man powered bicycles, so no e-bikes, um, or donkeys or mules or horseback is pretty much the only way you're gonna be able to access the refuge and certain parts of our forestry. Um, so just some things to consider. I have been successful out here. Um, I know a lot of hunters that come out here that aren't successful. And uh, so you might have to take a shot fairly far if you're out here in the plains. Um, and animals can see for a long distance and usually if they're out in the plains they're in big numbers but that also means that you have a lot of eyes looking in every direction to let the herd know that there's something coming so uh, hope this video was a little bit informative for you guys and, and can help you guys out into uh, whether to pick this unit or not pick this unit there's a lot of other great units around here inside Southern Colorado that have great numbers that you can access through with motor vehicles and uh, e-bikes as well. Um, just not so much out here inside Unit 82. And there's also a lot of private land as well in Unit 82. So it's a pretty big unit, but you gotta consider all that stuff. Um, and the animals, they feel pressure really quick out here and then they go out and they know the areas to run to when they start to get pressured to where they're safe. So just some things to consider. Hope you guys have a great hunting season and don't forget to subscribe and like. I'm gonna be putting out more hunting videos uh, the more I get out there. So have a great time and catch you guys later.